Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to spoof graphics on Hackintosh. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Here spoofing refers to faking. Here it simply means faking Model X into Model Y, if you are curious, when spoofing is required. Let me tell you that, not every graphic is supported under Mac OS or OS X. Spoofing is required when the GPU is not natively not supported, OOTB, due to their names or architecture. For example, R9390X is supported, whereas R9390 isn't. Such GPUs must be spoofed to a model which closely matches to the original GPU model in terms of hardware specs and technology. Coming to spoofing compatibility. When spoofing, you must take care of the compatibility. The spoof must be to the same family, or sometimes to an older or higher family, considering that the older or higher family is supported under Mac OS or OS X. You cannot spoof any and every unsupported GPU. For example, you cannot spoof HD 510, GT1, to HD 530, GT2, or Rocket Lake, a GPU, to Comet Lake, a GPU. It will simply not work. This is because the graphics architecture changes completely and for a successful spoof, the spoof should be as close as possible in terms of architecture. For example, SKL and KBL graphics are nearly the same, with very slight differences, and as a result, you can spoof a KBL graphics to SKL graphics, was required at the time of initial Mac OS Sierra release, and SKL graphics to KBL graphics, required since Mac OS Ventura. In addition, you can only spoof the model whose drivers are present in the newer Mac OS or OS X version. For example, AMD HD 5450 and HD 6450 are natively supported on High Sierra. However, this text is absent on higher versions of Mac OS. In such a case, you must patch the system and install the old texts. For spoofing, following are the requirements for spoofing graphics on Mac OS. Please ensure you meet the requirements before proceeding with this guide. Now moving forward, let me show you the specs of the current GPU. Here in Hackentool, you can see, that the GPU name is Lexa XD Radeon Pro WX2100. And as of now, the QE and CI as well as metal support are absent. Moving to the PCIe tab, here you can see more info on the GPU. Also, let me show you the graphics and display tab under system information. Here you can see the vendor, current device ID, and currently, no text is loaded. Moving to the audio tab, there's no HDMI audio. Now, you'll need to find the ACPI path of the GPU. For that, open IO Registry Explorer, and search for display. After searching, you should see something similar, now select the upper node in the tree, and then you'll be able to locate the ACPI path. Now, open GPU spoof SSDT. Now you need to change a couple of things in the SSDT to match yours. You'll need to look for the ACPI path, and currently, my ACPI path is PC00.PEG1.PEGP. To replace the unspecified values in SSDT, you can either manually replace these values or you can also use Find and Replace option in Mac IASL using Command plus F or using the Find and Replace option under the Edit menu. Now in the Find section, enter the unspecified ACPI path, and in the Replace section, enter the ACPI path from the IO Reg window. And now, just click on All, to replace it with desired value. Now after replacing the values, if your path is something like PC00.PEG1, just select this scope address, and delete it. If you have a similar path address like mine, you'll have to keep this scope address. Now, you'll need to change the device ID, depending on the compatible device ID. To find the compatible device ID, please visit our forum. 
In my case, the device ID for Radeon Pro WX2100 would be 6073 as per the common GPU spoof table. As of now, you can see the current device ID is 6995. Now change the device ID with the value obtained. After changing the device ID, specify the slot, depending on the PCIe slot in which the GPU has been installed, change the slot name. Usually, it's PCIe slot 1. Now lastly, you'll need to enter the name of your GPU model. Currently, the GPU installed in my system is AMD Radeon Pro WX2100. Replace the GPU model with your current GPU model, and then click on Compile. Now in the Compiler Summary window, there should be no errors. Now close the compiler summary window, and save the SSDT. Now mount your ESP, and place both SSDTs to the ACPI folder of your ESP. After placing the SSDTs, open the config p list, and then add the SSDTs entry in the following order. After adding the entries, go to NVRAM tab, and then select the last UUID, and then add the following boot arcs. After adding the boot arcs, save your config p list. And now, eject your ESP, and restart your Hackintosh. While restarting, make sure to reset the NVRAM ones. And now after the system reboots, you can see the graphics is working. In Hack until you can see, that the QE and CI, as well as metal support, is present now. And in the PCIe section, HDMI slash DP audio is also available. Now let's have a look at the graphics and displays in the system info. And here you can see, the chipset model is AMD Radeon Pro WX2100, and the VRAM is 2GB, and the current device ID is 6073, and metal is also supported. Moving to the audio tab, you can see, that HDMI audio is available now. Now, let me show you H.264, and HEVC status.
and here you can see, H.264 and HEVC status, which is available now. Now let me show you the hardware encoding status. And as you can see, the hardware encoding is also supported. Now let me show you the sleep-wake function. and the sleep-wake function is also working perfectly. Lastly, it's time to benchmark the GPU. So, everything is done, and the spoof is working as expected. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.